Excuse me, what? Whoop! You heard that on camera, folks. Heard that on camera. What the hell was that? That's not good. Of course! Ah, I see what happened, okay. So, while firing this little gun, uh, this little kit, screw in here, or at least something inside the motor, has come loose. It's caused the motor to come down from the actual ball position it's supposed to be. Yeah, there's a little bit of play there. There's a little bit of play. So one of the screws has either come loose or something has happened inside to cause it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and today we need to talk about something. The fun thing in question being, once again, the SRU bullpup kit for the AR-15 model. Well, many AR-15, really. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about this kit because if you remember from the last video, and yes, I know this is uploaded directly after uploading the one yesterday, you know that this little compartment right here, I was having a bit of an issue, and I found out what the issue was. The issue being, the screw right there came down, came loose from the vibrations. Well, it basically came loose from the vibrations. Um, SRU... I'm saying this in the most polite way possible, because I love your kits. I love you like a brother. But, um, what the holy fuck is your major malfunction, SRU? No, I know I say this, but I bet you anything, it's a common threat. It's a common thing, and I get it. I really, really do. And believe me, I do. I get it. I totally get it. I, I understand completely. You're trying to get these things out. This is just the first batch. And I bet you anything, by the next couple batches, they're perfectly fine by this point. And I bet you anything, I'm not the first one to be like, what the fuck, SRU? Why the hell is the screw a little loose? So, ladies and gentlemen, other, I'm going to present you a redneck solution to keep the screw from loosening. Let's see if it works, because it actually has worked in a lot of my other builds, and a lot of my other issues I've had where screws have gotten loose on certain things, and I just did it and actually helped those. So, let's go see if this solution works for this in an area where there's a massive ton of vibrations, and the gear and the motor in this is the stock motor that comes with the Elite Force M4 CQB Gen 7. I have not upgraded yet, I'm not going to fucking open this thing to do that, it is going to stay fucking stock, because believe me, I don't want to open this thing up. At all. It was a pain in the ass to get it together, but my god, I'm keeping it together to the best of my abilities. Anyway, moving on. Alright, here we are with the gun itself, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fully take out the entire screw. What I'm going to do is either replace it with a better screw, which I might damn well do if I have it. Okay, there's the screw itself. I know I've got a plate here somewhere. Here it is. Well, the plate's too big for it, or at least this screw's too big to actually go in the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Teflon tape. I know you're thinking, Teflon tape? Isn't that a bit... well, yeah? Well, yes, but here's the thing, folks. When in doubt, try Teflon tape first, and if Teflon tape doesn't work, eh, well, you should have luck. Now, there is some weird paste that DICE told me about called locking paste or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I don't know, is Canadian mumbo-jumbo? Is Canadian slang? But I've learned that Teflon tape is great for everything. It helps with a great deal of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Teflon tape around this, at least uh, one thing of it, at least. There we go, let's just go ahead and do that. And then we're going to put it back in, and we're going to see what that does for us exactly. So, let's just go ahead and pop that back into place. Once I start feeling tension, then I'm going to stop. Here we go. Okay, maybe I've gone a little too far. I'm not, we're going to test that out. And we're going to see if I did or not. Let's take this. Oh, well, not that one. Uh, ah, there it is. Let's go ahead and pull this out. 
flip it to semi-automatic. And let's try it, shall we? Okay, a little too tight. A little too tight. So we'll just loosen it a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're getting a little bit of issues there. That's starting to warm up a bit. Let's just loosen it a little more. All right, so I'm going to have it like this, and we're going to speed up a bit for you. By the way, this is a little loud to my ear. So, full auto, just to see, because if it fully loosens in full auto, then we know we got to put a little bit more Teflon tape in. But after a long burst, then we'll know if it's, uh, yeah. All right, so. Right! Teflon tape work. But the question is, how long? There's the question. So you may have to, of course, put a couple more appliances to this. Although, if uh, depending on the motor you put in and depending on how much vibration this thing shoots out, understand this is a stock motor that came with the Elite Force M4, so that's just, yeah. But either way, though, the Teflon tape trick works. Now, there is other stuff that you can do to it. I know everyone who actually works with screws and stuff will let me know in the comment section down below. That is way too fun. I love that they put a bolt on this. Ah, I love it. Either way, though. Thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Allen. Would you kindly consider subscribing, commenting, liking, all that good fucking jazz? And also, let me know if this was helpful to you in case your SRU Bullpup AR kit has the same issue this one was facing with a loosening screw that caused the motor to go cattywampus and completely disconnect from the actual gearbox as a whole. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Allen. I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Till next time!